Oh, the day I always feared finally happened. My smart home died. Yeah, let me take you back a few days. So I was sitting here on this couch a few days ago going to update Home Assistant. I was thinking it was gonna take about 10 minutes. And when you're updating, of course, you always hold your breath when it's rebooting. Hopefully it comes back to life. But this time, it didn't. Dead. It was completely gone. Oh, I was devastated. I had never run into this before because I had normally used a Raspberry Pi 4 with eight gigabytes of RAM, a solid state drive, and I've had zero issues updating. But a little bit ago, I was listening to the smart home nerds out there saying, hey, you should update to a mini PC. It'll run way faster and all of that. So I did, and this is what I get. I'll have to admit, running Home Assistant on the mini PC made Home Assistant a million times better. Home Assistant loads so much faster. All the views are super snappy. Rebooting Home Assistant takes less than a minute instead of like forever on the Raspberry Pi 4. And I can use the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition for local voice commands on the mini PC, and it's actually pretty fast. So maybe the Home Assistant nerds were onto something, but Home Assistant is still not working, so maybe not. Luckily, I made a backup of Home Assistant before updating. It didn't really matter because the mini PC wouldn't even go into the BIOS, like nothing worked. I tried reflashing Home Assistant onto it, and still nothing. So yeah, nightmare. So at this point it's two in the morning and I'm freaking out because Home Assistant isn't coming back to life. Hallie's already gone to bed a long time ago. She's like, you're staying up because of Home Assistant issues? Surprise, surprise. Well, I decided I'm just gonna take my old Raspberry Pi 4, wipe it, take my backup, put that on there, and everything came back to life. Like the Home Assistant backups are awesome. And this is just a temporary fix. I need to do something to make sure this never happens again. So one thing that I've heard about on the Home Assistant forums from the mega super Home Assistant nerds is to install Proxmox and run Home Assistant in a VM on that. I always thought that's so much work. I just want my smart home to be easy. It's something I do for fun. I don't wanna be just the sys admin doing all these like really technical things in my spare time. I finally was like, I gotta do it. I If this is how I get it up and running and if I can do backups so I never lose anything ever again on an update, Maybe I have to do it. I started installing Proxmox, and then guess what happened? It got stuck at 3%. It just sat there. I was about to take a hammer to it. I was so fed up at this point. And then I looked online, and the answer was, wait for it. Wait for it. No, that's, that, that's the answer. You, you wait for it. People are like, oh, wait 5, 20, 30 minutes or so. And sure enough, about 20 minutes later, it loaded fine. So if you ever run into that issue, just wait for it. So I found a really good guide online that walks you through the steps on how to install Home Assistant on Proxmox. There's also a video on how to do it as well that will help you connect your USB drives to your Zigbee or Z-Wave stick on Proxmox. Super easy to do. I always overhyped it in my head, like thinking it would be so difficult, but really wasn't that bad. It probably took me about a half an hour from start to finish and I made backups. So there's auto backups in Proxmox that will take my whole VM and replicate it. And I'll do that every single day and it'll save one from the previous day, one from a week ago and one from a month ago. So if I ever need to revert back, it's super easy if I mess anything up in Home Assistant. So that's Great peace of mind that I can do that. I ended up using eight gigabytes of RAM for my VM for Home Assistant. I have 16 available on my mini PC. I wanted to give it a lot so Home Assistant runs fast, but I also have room to run other VMs in Proxmox. So if I wanna run any other servers, I can just make a new VM in Proxmox. Pretty awesome. So I'm getting more out of my mini PC using it this way. Mini PCs are pretty inexpensive. I think I bought mine for around 160 bucks or 170 bucks. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. I just figured out the issue. So 
I went to take the thumbnail for this video, I unplugged the mini PC, and when I went to plug it back in, the same thing happened. So it turns out it was the USB extender that I have my Z-Wave and Zigbee stick plugged into. That's the culprit. It won't boot up at all if that's plugged in. But if I unplug it, turn the mini PC on, and then right after it starts its boot up sequence, I can plug it back in and it works just fine. So not sure why that is. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. Probably some issue with a mini PC BIOS or something. I don't know what's going on. I probably could have fixed it from the get go by just doing that if I would have known. Ah, so frustrating. Learn from my mistakes, don't do what I did, but Proxmox and mini PCs, they're awesome. So. I do still highly recommend them. It makes Home Assistant so much faster. Hopefully you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.